Okay, just a little roadmap of how what are we going to do. Firstly, I'll teach you the first part how to find determinant. Determinant, there are two ways to find. It's either by expansion of row slash column. It's a cofactor method. And then I'll teach you as well the by the add row method. Needless to say, this one is the harder, but this one is the easier. But not in all cases you can use it. The other names I give it to it is either, I call it the Wolverine method, or some girls, they prefer the pineapple method. Just a name. <laughs> Girls like pineapple because it reminds them of who live under the pineapple in the sea. <laughs> the second part will be we study of a minor cofactor and transpose. Minor, they are. It's one of the, what's the word in English? Uh? What do you call leche in English? Something tiresome, cumbersome. Tedious. Tedious. They, 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 I, when I learned math, there are two types of susah in mathematics. One is susah gila. <laughs> That you, when you encounter that question, it took you like 10 or 15 minutes for you to think about it and you were like. <laughs> <laughs> and another type of mathematics yang susah is what we call menyusahkan. You figure out which one you hate it more. <laughs> okay, minor is, is, is the menyusahkan area. It's tiresome, tedious. There are many, many ways on how to calculate. This is one of the way that we will do them. Just a little of Gambaraja of how we're going to calculate it out. We will draw nine things there. Cofactor is what we call the diamond stuff. Can you see a diamond? Basically, here is the diamond. And transpose is once you got all of this, you're changing. Let's change the row and column. It's not that difficult, but I know some of you who will lose your confidence on how to do this one. So that we can either do it manually or we can either use the calculator as well. I'll teach both. And finally, once you have learned everything, once you learn this and this and this, then you're going to combine them. You're going to combine. And you get yourself something that we call, uh, we call this cofactor transpose. Yes? Okay, sorry. Cofactor transpose, or the other, uh, the official way of writing now is CT, is equals to the adjoint. Is when we we combine all of this, then we got our self cofactor transpose, which is also another name is adjoint. So when people are talking about adjoint, it means all of this part two combine. And finally, the part three. How do we move this? Thing? Finally, part three is where we're going to combine all of this part one and part two. One over part one. Time with the adjoint. Is where we're going to get our self inverse matrix. Let's call it inverse matrix.
Matrix with the CE or X? But let's be cool. When I say this matrix, I mean, can you read matrix? <laughs> you, you know, there's a lecturer who came and see me, and she asked, have you entered matrix? And I was like, I'm already in matric matriculation. <laughs> no, 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 it, she's talking about this topic. And I was like, ah. <laughs> okay, so we're going to learn all of this. First, we learn them manually. After we learn them manually, I'll teach you how to do them by the help of your calculator. Okay? So let's try. <laughs> 